Hey, look, everybody. This episode, it just might offend you. And if it does, I think you know why. Because the truth hurts. And if it doesn't offend you, I'll just try harder next time. And if you do get pissed off and leave some pissed off comments, the I don't care memos went out last week. If you didn't get one, Yeah. Dude, this is going to be bad. Hello. Terrence Pop here from Redonkulous.com. Three beers. Hang on. And today we're going over excuses for being fat. Yeah, while we're on this subject, what are some adjectives for fat? Chunky. Gravitationally challenged. Over density. Rotund. Lunchbox. Kettle corn. Tubby. Fleshy. Roomy. Jiggly. Fliggly. Fat. Overweight. Portly, flabby, pot belly, beer belly, meaty, of ample proportion, bulky, substantial, sizable, thick, big, morbidly obese, <laughs> heavy set. Politically correct, of course. Any more questions? Now, I've said it before in every single one of my episodes. I have dyslexia. And if you have a problem with that, go eat some Twinkies. Let us begin. I have a hormone imbalance. Hmm. Unless they sawed off your seed pumps or they dug out your ovaries with a spoon. You probably don't and need to run a few. My thyroid isn't working. Do you even know what your thyroid does? Well, they have pills for that. Go to the doctor and get them. I have a slow metabolism. Okay, then you should cut yourself down to one meal a day. The only thing I really see slowing is your blood flow from all that fat you ingested. I'm ugly and it doesn't really matter anymore. What's the comeback for that? I have no idea. I'm ugly, so it doesn't matter anymore. Well, at least you know, and knowing is half the battle. Now, I've heard this from a couple of uh, my friends' wives, and they're like, Who cares if I'm fat? I'm gonna get all the money. And I know what you're gonna spend it on. Big Macs, Whoppers, oh, and onion rings. And you probably will. Yeah! Self-esteem issues. Eh, if you have a daddy issue, or you know, whatever, you think you're fat and you're not, or you think you're skinny and you're not, we really don't care. We all got problems. And if it's that bad, just get some therapy. Work through it and get over it. Just stay off the pole. Yeah, oh, you're fat. Yeah! This is the part that really cracks me up. Laziness. They're actually using that as an excuse. <laughs> what a bunch of dumb Muldoon. Get up, walk a few miles a day, cut back on your eating, get active in your own health, and chances are, you can cut a few pounds off and stay off the list. Power ass. I have heart trouble. Because you're fat, you hairless monkey. I can hear you getting fatter because you're eating fat. The heart that's in my body is the same size as the one that's in your massive body. I know this is unbelievable, but I've heard this one before. Yeah, I just woke up fat. <laughs> Unless you're allergic to bees and there's killer bees around. <laughs> I swear to you, that really happened. Oh my God. No, no, it doesn't just happen like that. It kind of sneaks up on you. Michelin man. I love this one. My doctor actually used this one on me. Uh, and I told him, cause I was like, like 220. I'm like, well, well I, I power lift. <laughs> you better power lift your fat ass out of bed. My doctor, who's a former Spetsnaz is like, Terrence, Terrence, you, your power lifting weights are Done. You are morbidly obese. <laughs> My other half feeds me well. Hmm. Do you mean your other massive butt cheek? Well, you are applying the food to your slot A, so stop it. Because do you or do you not live in your body? I think you do. Once you get beyond a certain size, do you need assistance actually wiping your own slot B? Cause you gotta like lift a, like 200 pounds of flank and then get at that. Yeah, I don't see it. 
envisioning that as this toxic. It's just genetics. My family is all fat. Because your family probably is all lazy. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you made McDonald's your morning ritual. In fact, if you can get up before 11 a.m., why don't you take your big fat ass to the gym? <laughs> 13, I've heard this a few times here. I'm not fat, I'm big bone. Look, if I boiled you in a pot of water until your flesh fell off, chances are your bones look like everyone else. You're fat. Look, if Cartman can use that excuse, you can't. You did this to me. No, no, I didn't. And no, he didn't. You did it to yourself. You did this to me. You're the reason there's no food in the house. Oh, it's it's just my baby fat. We were all basically this big when we were born. If you're 18 and still pulling that, how big were you when you came out of the slot C? There must be some serious courtesy stitches there. You're fat. I can hear you getting fatter. End of story. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, you know, I, you know, I just binge eat once in a while and have a couple pounds sticking because of that. Stop it. If you're a binge eater and you go to Red Lobster for the all-you-can-eat shrimp, listen, that's not an appetizer. And you're fat, so stop it. I 12 years ago. Why don't you just go run a few? I have an eating disorder. Hmm. Again, do you or do you not live in your body? Take control of it and work it out. Eating disorders in another country, it's pretty much called starvation because they don't have any food. What is your excuse, you fool? <laughs> 19. I, I'm not fat, I just retain water. Go to the sweat lodge and sweat it out. And don't stop at Burger King when you come back. When you go over five pounds, it's fat. Gravity's a bitch and it's clearly in heat. I'm not just fat, it's just perspective. Hmm, I don't know. When I was over in France, when I was over in England, and when I was over in Germany, and all those other countries I visited, I didn't see all those fat women there. It's perspective. Well, from my perspective, I really can't see anything behind you because you're fat. Anyway, this is Terrence Pop with another episode of redonkless.com with excuses for why you're fat. And these are just our excuses for being fat. And of course, if you have any of your own, put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because if you do, I just might power lift your ass back to the kitchen. Don't forget to hit subscribe button, because if you don't, I just might power ass. Oh. <laughs> power ass. Power ass. That's an XY crossword. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't forget to hit subscribe button, because if you do, I just might have to power ass. Why do you keep saying power ass? <laughs> power ass. Power ass. <laughs> power hey, look. Your fat ass back to the kitchen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, because if you do, I just might power lift your ass back to the kitchen. Power ass. Power.